Hello again chaps and chapettes, how are we all doing? It's lovely to see you all again as always. Today guys I'd like to talk to you about something that I've seen in the Daily Mail. It would appear that the people of the Canary Islands are getting a little bit pissed off with all the tourism that's going on on their islands. They're running around the place graffitiing up walls, statues, things like that with slogans like uh, Tourist Go Home, uh, My Misery. Average salary in the average salary in the Canary Islands one thousand two hundred euros. Tourists respect my land. That sort of a thing. I think you get my drift. Now, to be honest with you, I do actually agree with their grievances here. If I'd have pissed up men, pissed up women every single week coming to my home, pissing all over the floor, vomiting everywhere, breaking property, and being a damn nuisance. I'd be getting quite pissed off as well. But I'd like to talk about the opposite side of this coin. Now I can only speak from places that I've seen personally, but I can pretty much imagine that the same applies to places like this. When you get a city or a town or an island or whatever it is that relies heavily upon the income of tourists, students, that sort of a thing, once they are gone, things can turn very dire very very quickly i can give you a few examples i used to live about five miles away from a seaside town called morecambe now when i was a kid it was just teetering off ever so slightly it still had a fun fair a fairground called uh, frontierland there it used to have a big like aqua park with like water slides and jacuzzis and shit in it called bubbles it used to have arcades obviously it used to have an ice rink it used to have a park like a theme park called happy mount park with like uh, nice walks and uh, kiosks for ice creams and you know amusements shit like that all that was there when i was a kid i remember it very well but as the years went on and i started getting older things started disappearing uh, the theme park with the rides and shit on there closed down gone the uh, aqua park with the water slides and the jacuzzis, gone, closed down. The other park, Happy Mount Park, that was turned into something called uh, Crinkly Bottom. It was, it was, a, it was a fiasco. It was turned into some sort of like Mr. Blobby Land, where Mr. Blobby used to be a thing. Showing my age now, that that got shot to shit in less than a year. Now Morecambe consists of high drug abuse, high alcohol, alcoholism high unemployment and crime rates through the roof. It is an absolute shit all. Way back when, Morecambe was a tourist hotspot. People used to flock there like an army of ants going after some sugary sweet on the floor or something. Now it's desolate, it's dead, it's horrible, it's depressing. That's what can happen when tourism stops, especially in a seaside town. Much the same I can say for Blackpool. It used to be teeming with people. People used to be... You couldn't get into Blackpool at one point. It was that full. Now, it's much the same as Morecambe. Crime ridden. Drugs everywhere. Piss heads. Unemployment. The whole lot. It, it's a shell of what it used to be. Why? Because people don't want to go there anymore. And, to be quite honest with you, I don't see it being any different with the Canary Islands. Like I say, I fully agree with their grievances. I wouldn't like piss heads being there all the time. But that's the job of the old bill to sort that out. Kick some heads in, shove them in a cell and deport the fuckers if you need to. You go abroad, you respect people's land. That's basically it. You go over there, you start treating people like shit. People are going to start resenting you. But, alas, if it stops completely, you'll be fucked. You're talking about salaries now. If you've got no income through tourism, your salaries are going to be even lower. Unemployment is going to be... It's going to be groundbreaking. So, be careful what you wish for, yeah? Because the grass isn't always greener on the other side, as they say. That's my video, guys. Thanks very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.